What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com vibes in up in the kitchen. As promised, every weekend this summer, I'll be sharing uh, a beverage with you guys, something to, to beat the heat. Um, it is currently about 37, 38 degrees Celsius outside. Yes, Canada gets very hot in the summertime. I found passion fruit, two different varieties in the grocery store here. Not what I'm accustomed to using, but we're gonna make some passion fruit juice. Here's the thing, unlike the other juices that I shared with you the past few weeks, this one we're going in with processed sugar. So be mindful of that, it's not as healthy. If you give it to the kids, give them some water to rinse out their mouth after, so tea and rotten and all kind of, don't send me any, no, I don't want any dentist bill. But vibes it up, man, passion fruit juice. This one takes me back to when I was a kid on the islands, no joke. Wow, it's so hot, I'm sweating in here, boy. Love it though. There are two types of passion fruit that I got here. Now, keep in mind, I'm based in Canada. I'm trying to use what's available to me. So this sort of dark one, I've never used these before. And this sort of, well, I guess it's closer to an orange color. This is probably the closest one to what I grew up using in the Caribbean. The back of our house, there was an old poi tree. And on that, the base of it, um, my dad would plant passion fruit. They would climb the entire tree and we would have a bamboo rod and we would knock them down. But those were more of a, a yellow color. So these are what we're going to be using. We're going to need half of a lime just to give it a little citrus. We'll need some, um, some granulated sugar, some white sugar to sweeten it, water, and a couple drops of bitters. For some reason, it sounded this as if I was out of breath there. That's not the case though. Um, so what we need to do is cut them open. So there's the, the top stem, the bottom part. So you want to hold it like that. And in between, just go in with a knife, cut it through. And we've got all that beautiful pulp in the middle there. But there is a sort of a bitter seed inside there. So we're going to have to work on that. But all we're going to do is scrape that. Well, I'm doing it into the bowl here just so you're able to see it better. The funny thing is I read somewhere that there are people who take the skin, probably not this version, probably this version, and make a jam out of it. Let me just show you the... Oh, wow. Wow, that smells nice. Takes me right back to when I was a, a small man on the islands. So this one is not as yellow, but again, we need all that pulp in there. We can discard the hard outer shell. That is where all that flavor for this passion fruit juice is going to come from. Now back in the old days, they would crush it, um, put it through a strainer to get the juice out without all that seeds, but we're going to use the blender instead to do that for us. We have all that pulp now, so it's gonna go into the blender as I said. I'm gonna go in with my sugar. Now, that is half a cup of sugar. Keep in mind, yes, this is not a natural drink we have to add some sort of sweetener to there and from experimenting i can tell you that it works better than honey or anything else i'm also going to go in with juice of half of a lime in there i don't want to go with any more because i really don't want to kill that lovely flavor of the passion fruit next up i'm going to go in with a couple drops of almond extract as well as a couple this is my old Angostura bitters. Just a couple sprinkles in there. And the full list of ingredients will be listed down in the description below. I guess I should have opened up. Wow, I'm cracking the seal on this almond extract, people. So just a tiny bit of that. Ooh, that smells nice. And finally, we're gonna go in with water. I'm gonna go in with some more water then total I'll probably add about five to six cups of water. I'm all set to go with the blend blender now and I don't want to puree this because we really don't want to break up the seeds. I just want to extract the pulp from around the seeds. So I'm just gonna go and 
I'm just gonna go on a sort of a, a lower speed and let that go for about a minute or two to extract all the juice from the seeds and then we're going to go ahead and um, strain it. Next stop is just a matter of straining it now. And what I did notice about this juice, now bear in mind I'm using um, passion fruit that I'm not accustomed to, not the ones I grew up with, but if I recall correctly, they used to, used to give you a more of a yellow juice than what I'm seeing here. Just let that drain through. You can taste it here now for sweetness. If you need to add a bit more sugar, you can certainly do so. I don't think I'll be adding any sugar. I'm just gonna work this through. These are all the seeds here from the passion fruit that's left back. So basically all you would do is scrape a little bit on the bottom here now. Give it a good stir. It did turn out a bit yellow. Not as brilliant yellow as I remembered it though. Pour it into the jug that you're serving it in. Chill it. And serve it with some ice. It's totally up to you. Where's the camera? There we go. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Remember to leave comments down below. I try to answer them within the first 24 hours of the video going live. A nice summertime drink, very refreshing, passion fruit. Whoa, I really, hmm, this really takes me back, boy.